Alright, so here's the uh, Red Sea Reef Mat 500. This is a 80 gallon tank uh, that I built, or not built, but uh, I bought rather. It's 48 by uh, 22 tall by 20 front to back, or 21 front to back. Um, I've had this thing for a few months, but I never set it up. Uh, part of the reason was because of this hose. So I, I used Schedule 80 plumbing on all my tank. Uh, don't mind the wires, it's, I'm still, still work in progress over here, but um, I designed this sump by uh, uh, Advanced Acrylics to to have this, uh, to hang this, or, or have this sit over here, which is barely enough room, which is, which is bitching, but these unions don't work on one inch um, schedule 80 plumbing. So I actually had to take a Dremel and make that hole bigger. And I went to Home Depot and I bought one of their one inch unions. And if you look, you can see it's got the little like lines around it. I had to Dremel those off. So I made the hole a little bigger on this fitting and I Dremeled those little bridges off and it went right on. Uh, this hose is a little short. I bought this used. It was brand new but somebody had already designed it for their sump so I got to get a new longer hose just by a little bit. But um, yeah so if anybody's wondering how to connect a Red Sea uh, Reef Mat 500 to one inch plumbing you got to go to Home Depot and get a get one of their, their uh, threaded unions. Um, it was the only way to, to get it to work. So I tried a bunch of different Schedule 80 unions and none of them, the issue is the threads on these fittings aren't, are like funky, they're like China threads or something. But so far it's working good. So you can see the water in there. It's, uh, it's rolling in from the drain. As it goes up, it'll hit the sensor over here on the left and get the fleece to roll forward. It's a little funky crooked right now because that hose is so tight, um, but I'll get a new hose here shortly and I'll paint that little fitting black so it blends in. Um, and I'll, I need to tighten those fittings up there and put some Teflon tape so they're not leaking. I just had water, uh, I just had a uh, filter sock there before and I got sick of changing filter socks. So this is the primary drain, which is um, full siphon. This drain on the right is like an emergency drain. It just trickles out. So I do have a filter sock there, but I kind of planned on just not using a filter sock and just having the, the uh, it like dribbles out of there. So whatever little bit of water passes through won't be filtered, uh, which will potentially make the sump dirty, but I don't know if it really matters. So. For right now, I'm just gonna leave the filter sock on and kind of see how it goes and maybe change it out once every couple of weeks and see if it turns into a nitrate factory or what the issue is. But so far, this, this Red Sea roller mat was super, super simple to set up. Um, like I, I took like a couple months to set it up because I thought it was gonna be a mega headache. But so far it hasn't been. And this is with a Vectra um, M2 pump and I have it running like around 55% or something like that, which I don't know the exact gallon per hour, but it's going through a full siphon one inch um, drain. So it's got a quite a bit, got a good amount of flow through the sun, but you can see, you can see the water running through there. And I always like having higher flow uh, to the tank if I can. So we'll see uh, how this thing holds up after the next couple of weeks, but getting it set up on the, on the uh, on the app and everything was very, very simple. So I just, well, I'm just anxious to see how quick I'll go through this roll of fleece. Um, I may have to end up turning the flow down a little bit, but either way, it's better than having to change filter socks. So, yep, that was it. Good job, Red Sea. This thing was awesome.